All right. In this next video, Jacinta Price's father, who is a teacher and who teaches Aboriginal children, got dragged into a debate. A yes campaigner, a yes campaigner is someone, by the way, who um, is with a campaign that fights for the rights of Aboriginal people. This lady, her name is Professor Marcia Langton. She took a swipe at Senator Price by referring to a quote allegedly made by her father and was used by a controversial figure, a European-Australian politician by the name of Gary John. We will get into a little bit about Gary John later on. But for the people who don't know who Jacinta Price is, she's a Aboriginal senator out of Australia. She's mixed. Her father is European and her mother is Aboriginal. And she is now married to a European man, but she's one of the leading voices fighting for Aboriginal people. I would like you to take a listen of the Yes campaigner, Professor Marcia, talking about Jacinta Price and her dad. Just to give you an example, one person said recently, if they want a voice, learn English. Um, now, yesterday, uh, Senator Jacinta Price uh, declined to uh, approve of that person. Um, well, why? Because of the Iparinya School, whose governing committee she chairs, I believe, teaches their curriculum in the four local languages spoken by the Indigenous children from the town camps who attend the school. So, you know, they're throwing out highly curated slogans to the public, but behind the slogans, at least some of them understand exactly the problem. Um, cultural diversity, linguistic diversity, extreme disadvantage, um, and uh, the priority that children must take. All right, so now we are adding a bit more detail to the painting. Senator Price's dad is a teacher. He's a European. Think about it. She took this European man in the heart of her village and put him directly in charge of the local children so he can plant his ideology in the mind of the local children. And remember, his loyalty is with his people. His loyalty is with his roots, his base, other Europeans. And the man and woman of the Aboriginal community allow this to happen, if such is the case. For some reason, people seem to believe that since they can marry now freely, that these people love them. And I always look at it like this. You were not his first choice. He wished he could have himself a nice blonde. But the blonde that he wants rejected him. She chose another man. She chose another man and he just wanted to have his stuff wet. And you cater to him. And by him being able to have you, he can have access to the land. And he know that in a matter of time, whatever children he have with you, they are going to be loyal to his side of the family because they are the ones with the power. And they will continue to intermarry with the European side if they are females and they will get rid of whatever Aboriginal is in you while claiming to be Aboriginal.